Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Wind Lacquer. In today's video, it is time for our seasonal nail polish rack. This is our spring rack and since it is a collab, make sure to check the list down below for all of the other participants and their channels. Also a huge thank you to Amanda from the Nail Polish Hound and Jackie from Nurse Jackie for putting together the list for us and for putting together the thumbnails that you saw on YouTube. So let's go ahead and dig in. As you can see, I have these somewhat color organized. So this is what we're going to be looking at for part one. We're going to start over in this corner with our single orange and then go into a whole bunch of pinks. So our one orange is from Stella Chroma and this was a November 2021 mystery polish and I got this in one of my mystery boxes. And I don't know if this settlement, just some of the color that has settled or if there is some fading that might be going on, but as is, I think it's a beautiful color for spring. It is a dusty, sort of a neutral peach color. And as you can see, it is packed full of gold holographic glitter. So this is a really beautiful combination, unlike anything else in my collection. And here it is in two coats. This is without a top coat. That way you guys can see how these polishes dry on their own. This one does seem to have a bit of texture going on, probably because of that glitter. So when I wear it, I'll make sure to add a nice, thick, glossy top coat. But I really like this color. It's a very unusual shade. Like I said, a little bit on the dusty side. That I thought would be a beautiful color for spring. So that one was Stella Chroma's November 2021 Mystery. Now we're moving on into our coral colors. This first one is from Nail Hoot. And this one is Through Dangers Untold and Hardships Unnumbered. This one originally came out in HHC for January 2021. This is another one that I got through a mystery box. Willa, what are you doing? She just sits at the window and meows forlornly as though she's not getting any attention. <laughs> this is a beautiful shade of like a dusty cantaloupe. It also has holographic glitter, this time in a silver. This one also has a gold shimmer that runs throughout it. I think that might have some shifts on it, but currently all I'm seeing is a gold to maybe a bit of orange. Here's this one in two coats. Again, perfect for spring. I think I'm going to be repeating myself on all of these for that, but this is just such a beautiful, soft, delicate color. It is a bit more saturated in person than I feel like it's coming across on camera. I think that might be a little bit more color accurate there, but another beautiful shade and I like the glitter in this one as well. I don't feel like I'm getting as much texture on this from the glitter and that might just be because it's less of a cream formula than the Stella Chroma. This one is more of a squishy Corelli. So if you do have longer nails, you might need a third coat for full opacity, but I was happy with this in two. So that one was Nail Hoots, Through Dangers Untold and Hardships Unnumbered. Our next one is a beautiful flaky from Fancy Gloss. This one is called Enchanted Coral. You'll see quite a number of polishes from this collection in my spring rack because they're just so perfect for this season. This is a really beautiful shade of peachy pink and it is full of iridescent shimmer. Again, I feel like it's more saturated than what you're seeing on camera, and it is just jam-packed full of these iridescent glitters in a number of sizes and colors. As you can see, you've got some gold going on, but there's also pink and purple. I think these larger ones also shifted to like a blue at certain angles. There's a lot more gold. This one I did do in three coats. As you can see on the nail, you're definitely not going to get a huge punch of color, but again, it is a bit more saturated than what you're seeing on camera. The pink shimmer is very strong on the nail, as are the flakies, but the actual tone of the polish does sheer out since it is a jelly formulation, so you can see all of the shimmer and the flakies but just perfect for spring. Now these can also make really beautiful toppers or transformative toppers on top of other colors. I think this could look really nice over a cream peach. So I'm not sure how I'll end up wearing it. I'll probably start out by just wearing it on its own, but that was Fancy Glosses Enchanted Coral. The next polish is from Coloris the Carol, and this one is called Daisy. Now, I believe this one is a thermal or was originally. Again, this is another polish that came to me in a mystery box, and I believe my bottle has faded. The pictures online showed a deeper tone of pink, but I want to say that I still am seeing a little bit of a transition here on the swatch. Now, I don't know if I can get it to change. Whoops, there we go. No, I, my polish is still a little bit 
uh, wet, but there you can see it transitions into almost a nude beigey tone as opposed to the corally pink that you're seeing there at the edge of the nail now and in the bottle. Just to compare that there, you can see that it still does transition. It's just not as prominent of a color change as I feel like it might have been originally. But the components in this one are really beautiful. And again, the tone of pink I thought was perfect for spring. This one has a combination of hollow and iridescent components. You've got hollow flakies and iridescent glitter, all in this sort of a, almost like a putty coral pink. It's more on the putty side, but there is this coral hue to it that, again, I feel like is not coming across very well on camera. It is definitely washing out that coral hue, but it's definitely noticeable in person. It's not as saturated of a coral as the one from Fancy Gloss. I think there you can see the comparison and what I mean by a sort of that putty tone in the one from Coloris to Carol. And this one I did end up doing in three coats just to reach the most opacity that I could. As you can see, I think you can still see that warmer hue in a buff tone and the coral shade at the tip of the nail. So I'm curious to see how this will look on because that peach beige color, I'm not sure that I will like it on my skin tone, but I will give it a try and see how it ends up looking. This could also be a candidate for wearing one of those iridescent glitter toppers over and have some fun changing up the color if I don't really like the beigeier tone that it is. And it might look completely different on my skin tone than it does on the swatch. So I guess we'll just have to see, but that was Colorista Carol's Daisy. Next up, we have a hollow from Nicole by OPI. This one is called Holidays Glaze. And you guessed it, this one also came to me in a mystery box. Although I wanna say that I had already gotten it previously, but then again, that one also could have come to me from a mystery box. <laughs> I'm losing track, but in any case, look at this amazing hollow. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm pretty sure this is one that had my jaw on the floor when I unboxed it. It is just dazzling. The color of this is more of a blush rosy pink, and it is just absolutely dazzling with that holographic flame. Look at that. The formulation on this is pretty sheer. I did need three coats to reach mostly opaque. I think longer nails might need a fourth to reach full opacity or might need to put this over a blurring base coat or a matching undie but i mean look how beautiful that is on the nail so stunning hollows have definitely grown on me over the last few years with as much as i absolutely love them now initially they were not my favorite finish but i've definitely come around they are one of my favorites now i really enjoy the hollow flame that you get and the rainbows that you see these are especially dazzling in the sunshine we are starting to get some sun here in washington already so i'm excited to see this one out in the sunshine and even if it's not completely sunny, it is a really beautiful shade of that rosy pink. So another one that I'm really excited to wear for spring. So that was Nicole by OPI Holidays Glaze. The next one is from Bees Knees Lacquer, and this is In Good Spirits. This was a group custom for all the polishes group on Facebook. And this one actually came to me, I believe, as part of the over pours for Respawn Palooza. I was really happy to get this one because it is one that I did not get when it was re released. I, in fact, don't know if maybe this was one of the first polishes that was released in the group before I discovered it or what the case was, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It is either a cousin or a sibling to a lion with a thorn in its paw in that it has those holographic flakies. Also a beautiful, strong shifting shimmer. You can see that pinkish red pop up as well as that like marigold orange and then green and gold. Whew. This is one of those formulations of hers that I could stare at all day. I absolutely love this kind of composition in a polish and I'm really excited to wear this one for spring because this is another beautiful shade for spring. It's that rosy, sort of a dusty, almost mauve leaning color and it is just gorgeous. This is another one that I did in three coats, but look at that. This is just amazing. I cannot get enough of those flakies. You guys are probably tired of hearing me ooh and all over them, but they just get me every single time. They are just amazing. I really love the warm shimmer in this one as well against that somewhat cooler tone of a rosy pink and just such a beautiful composition on this one. One of my favorites for sure. I'm very excited to wear this one. That was Bees Knees Lacquer in Good Spirits. 
The next one comes from Bow Polish. This one is called Maze, and this is another one that came to me in a mystery box, and I am so glad it did. This kind of polish is another one of my absolute favorites. It is a Crelly formula with these crushed iridescent and multi-chrome flakies, and I absolutely love that combination. This, for some reason, just gets me every time. I love how it ends up looking on the nail. You have this beautiful creamy base, and then all of these flakies end up looking like speckles on your nails. For me in spring, they always remind me of flower petals, and then in the fall colors, they remind me of crushed fallen leaves. So like I said, one of my favorites, this particular tone is again sort of a putty colored pink, and it's just beautiful. I think there are two different kinds of iridescent flakies at least. You can see that brighter green, some gold and pink popping up, and then some of the multi-chrome flakies there in a deep blue. Here on the nail, I was happy with this one in two coats. This is such a nice shade of pink. This particular bottle of pink does end up looking a bit more pink than putty on the nail, but I actually really like how this looks. I'm curious to see how I will like this on my skin tone because this exact shade of pink is not one that I have worn very often, if at all. I'm definitely more towards the brighter shades of pink or an orchidy color, but this one really caught my eye. Like I said, this formulation is one of my favorites, so another one that I'm really excited to wear sooner rather than later for the spring season. So that one was Bow Polish Maze. Next up is one of the lightest shades. This is from Night Owl Lacquer, and this one is Love Yourself. This one originally came out in February 2019 for Color of the Month, and this is another one. <laughs> I didn't realize I had quite so many from my mystery boxes, but this is another one that I got in a mystery box. And I don't think I would have necessarily picked this one out for myself, but I'm glad that I got it in a mystery box because I think I might actually really enjoy this on. I think on camera it is again washing out any shade that this has. It's coming across looking very off white if not flat out white but it is a very very bleached out whited out pink it kind of has that peachy hue to it as well again none of which is coming across on camera let's go ahead and take a look at it on the nail in two coats this one was a beautiful creamy formula again I don't think on camera you're seeing any of the peach or pink but <laughs> it's there <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely there. Let's see if I can't pull a white to compare that to. So we're going to compare it to Color Club's Winter White. And I think that sort of shows you the little bit of pink that's in there. Like I said, this one is very bleached out. There is color in there though. Hopefully you guys can tell by comparison that this one does have that little bit of a pink blush tone to it. So that one was Night Owl Lacquer's Love Yourself. Next up is one from Love Angeline. This one is called Dot My Heart. This is another one that came to me in a mystery box. Now, this one is one that has not faded, but it has bled. I think some of the pink glitters in here bled into the base. It was originally white, but mine is a like strawberry milkshake pink and it is full of this really fun mix of glitters. You have these purple pinks, oranges and I want to see there's also yeah some yellows and some metallic and some hollow glitters so a very fun mix I actually really like it in this shade of pink as well I think this one is another that is pretty unique to my collection and I thought that even though this does have brighter colors of glitter that are more summer this shade of a pastel pink was perfect for spring this is it in three coats. I thought that this looked absolutely adorable on. Again, I love this tone of strawberry milkshake pink. It is just too cute. The glitter mix in here is very fun. I love that you don't get overwhelmed by the amount of glitter. I'm glad that the brighter tones sort of get dulled down by the milky base of this one. So a very fun springy color there, despite the brighter tones of those neon glitters. So that one was Love Angeline Dot My Heart. The next polish is actually making a repeat appearance on a spring rack of mine. I want to say this has been at least on one other spring rack before. This one is from Vapid and it is called Ishtar. And this one I believe also came to me in a mystery box and I am so happy that it did. This is another one that I would classify as a strawberry milkshake pink. And what I absolutely adore about this one is the particles used in this leave a little speckle in the bottle, which hopefully you guys can kind of see it is so stinking adorable 
<laughs> I really, really love this one. In fact, if I could get a full-size bottle of this, I would. Here it is in two coats. Hopefully here you can see the little bit of a speckled look that I'm talking about. I think it is just absolutely adorable. This is a fun bright pastel. I really like this one. If you guys know of any other colors that have this sort of finish, definitely let me know because this one definitely steals my heart every time I see it. I think it's just so cute. So that one was Vapids, Ishtar. Next up, we're getting into some glitter. This is from Different Dimension, and this one is Always Wish Upon a Star. This one I did get directly from the maker. She was having a sale last year, and I got quite a few polishes in this type of a finish, and this one is dazzling. You have a mix of holographic and iridescent in here. This is a party on the nail. So much going on, so many rainbows. This is just beautiful. This is another one that you could use over other colors if you wanted to amp up the opacity because it is in a clear base. This one I did just do in two coats, but look how beautiful that comes out. I love how this ends up looking. Amazing glitters just twinkling away on the nail. This one definitely has some texture, so you're going to want to add either a nice thick glossy top coat or maybe this could be one that I wear with a glitter smoother and then a glossy top coat, but just jaw dropping on the nail. This one has so much sparkle. So that was Different Dimension, Always Wish Upon a Star. The next one is a flaky bomb from Great Lakes Lacquer called Get Your Boobies Squished. This one I got last year in the Breast Cancer Awareness Box and it is a beautiful shade of pink and just look how full of flakies this one is. Absolutely jam-packed. The tone of this one is a beautiful almost orchid pink and then the flakies shift from so many different colors. I want to say there's at least two, if not three different kinds of flakies. So you're going to see all kinds of different colors from pink to green to blues. So beautiful and shifty. You see the blue that I'm talking about there on the edge of the bottle. This is one that I was happy with in just two coats. Although I will say if you have longer nails, you might need a third coat if you want to completely blur out your visible nail line but look at this gorgeous color. This has such a beautiful tone and the flakies on this are very, very impressive. So that one was Great Lakes Lacquer, Get Your Booby Squished. Next up is one from a different dimension and this one is completely freaking my camera out. This one is called Quasar and this is another one that I got through a mystery box and another one that I think might have faded. The description of this one in the nail polish app was a purple and the bottle that I have is definitely more of like a dusty berry leaning pink. But look at that hollow. I have my jaw on the ground again. This one is just dazzling. You also have some iridescent or ghost flakies in there. Those are those blue flashes that you're seeing. It is amazing. Very, very pretty. No matter what this was originally made for, it is just amazing. And there you can see those ghost flakies in those little flakes of indigo. And here's that one in two coats. Again, the hollow on this one is really spectacular. You see all the colors of the rainbow, plus you have the flakies in here. Now this one, because it doesn't have a top coat, you might not be able to really see the flakies very well on camera, but in person, I can see them twinkling away. They add a nice little purple flash every now and then. So I think once this one has a top coat, it is going to be quite the winner. This one is one of my favorites for sure. And it's another one that I definitely want to wear sooner rather than later. So that was Different Dimension, Quasar. Next up is one from Polish. This one is called Magic Conk. And this one I believe I got directly from the maker. This is another really beautiful tone of pink. It is a really juicy shade of like a orchid pink. Is that even a thing? A juicy orchid pink? <laughs> but look at the flash of shimmer in here. This one has such a beautiful shifting shimmer. You see blue and green, gold here at the edges. This one has such a gorgeous color combination, plus it has these iridescent flinkies in it. Just beautiful. This is another one that I'm really excited to see outside in the sunshine. I think it is going to be a favorite. Here it is in two coats. This is another one that falls somewhere between a two or three coater, depending on your nail length. But look at that shimmer. So, so gorgeous. So that one was Polishes Magic Conk. The next one is another from Different Dimension. This one is called I'm With The Band. This one came out in Polish Pickup for May 2021. And I want to say I got this directly from Polish Pickup, but I could be mistaken. 
I could be mistaken on that one. Um, in any case, it is a gorgeous color. It is a jelly base that has a bright pink tone. And then again, with this amazing shifting shimmer, look at that. You've got this electric green, gold and blue. Wow. So beautiful against this base. And this one also has those holographic flakies that I cannot get enough of. The base of this pink also has some purple in it. Either that or that's another shift in that shimmer. Either way, you see rainbows on the nail. This is gorgeous. Here's that one in three coats. This one did need three to reach almost opaque, but as you can see, longer nail lengths will probably need to put this over a blurring base coat or be okay with this looking like an ethereal rainbow on the nails with some visible nail line, which I've actually come to appreciate about some of these sheer polishes. They have a completely different look than an opaque cream, but you get so much because they are sheer. You can see all of the different shifts in the shimmer this one I think is going to be another favorite. I cannot wait to wear this one. So that was Different Dimension. I'm with the band. Look at those colors. Oh, so pretty. Next up is one from Phoenix Indie Polish and this one is Nebula Chain. This one is a fairly recent acquisition. As you can see it came out in January 2023 for Polish Pickup and this is a beautiful soft pink jelly base full of again a shifting shimmer a mix of white matte glitters and these light soft I can't tell if they're like silver or gray glitters but they do have a different finish than the white matte glitters the shifting shimmer in here is definitely the star of the show look at that beautiful shift from purple to blue different shades of blue even you've got that darker shade there and then an aqua green this is another one that is so gorgeous. This one I did do three coats to get it as opaque as I could. As you can see, it is still pretty sheer. On your natural nails though, you might not notice it as much. But again, with these sheer colors, they do provide a different look on the nail. You might try wearing it on its own on one nail and see how you like it. If you don't like how it looks, you can always put this over a blurring base coat or a matching undie. This one could look really nice over a very soft baby pink. This one could actually look real nice over the one from Vapid or for a lighter shade over this very light white pink from Night Owl. But I think I might try wearing this on its own or maybe even over a brighter pink. We'll have to see how I end up wearing that. But that is from Phoenix Indie Polish Nebula Chain. Next up is one from Fair Maiden. This one is a thermal and it's called It's So Fluffy. <laughs> This one originally came out in Polish Pickup for August 2019, and this is another one that came to me in a mystery box. I don't know how I missed this when it originally came out, but I'm very happy to have it in my collection now, and I'm very excited to wear this one for the spring season as well. This one is another beautiful shade of Orchid Leaning Pink, so it's got that pinch of a purple tone to it, and it is full of this golden shimmer and iridescent flakies. This one I thought would look beautiful for the season. That shimmer also has shifts. I think there at the edge of the bottle, you can see that gold, green, and blue. It's a bit more prominent in person, but I think this one is another gorgeous combination. I love shifting shimmers. So here it is in three coats. So this is another one that I'm not sure if it has faded from its original color as well. It wouldn't surprise me if this was originally a brighter shade of pink. I'm not really getting this one to change too dramatically on but I think it does go to a lighter shade of pink there at the end but such a beautiful color nice and delicate and I really like the combination of the shifting shimmer with those beautiful flakies so that one was Fair Maidens it's so fluffy next up is one from Linderella and this one is called Frippery and this is another one <laughs> Goodness, I have a lot from mystery boxes. This is another one that I got from a mystery box, and it is a really beautiful shade of this orchid toned pink. This one almost has a blushed putty base with that brighter orchid in the shimmer. There's also a little bit of a holographic component in here. Here it is in two coats. This one does have a little bit of texture, probably because of the glitters, but I really like the tone on the nail. That base definitely adds a, an interesting dusty quality to this one. I like the combination of that kind of a subtle shimmer with the a little bit of a sparkle from the holographic. This will be the first time that I have worn any of my Linderellas. I actually don't have too many. I have a handful at this point, only one of which I purchased myself 
intentionally from a stash. The rest came to me through mystery boxes. So I've been really happy to be able to add some to my collection. I'm actually not sure if she still makes polish. I think she might, but this was definitely one of the OG brands that I remember hearing about. And at the time it seemed very hard to come by. So happy to have these in my collection. So that was Linderella's Frippery. Next up is one from Femme Fatale, and this one is Treat Yo Elf. This one came out in the All Wrapped Up collection. This one I did purchase directly from Femme Fatale last year. I had them do an order hold, so I placed a few small orders over the course of a few months and had them hold it and then ship it all at once to help me save on shipping. This was one that I was super excited to see in person. I thought the glitter mix in this was just adorable. You have this orchidy pinky purple base and then a fun mix of glitters you've got these bright yellows some bright pinks and then a softer blue and then look at those flakies Ooh, that makes for such a beautiful combination those are the kind that i think are classified as sort of a ghost flaky where you have these deeper tones of blue. You can also see some brighter shades as well. And there's also a scattering of holographic in here as well to add a bit of twinkle. This one I did do in three coats. There you can see that fun sprinkling of the glitters across the nail. And again, a beautiful tone of pink for spring. I think this one could also work for summer because of those brighter glitters, kind of like that one from Love Angeline. But because of the sort of dustier base, I thought that this one would work very nicely for spring as well. So that one was Femme Fatale's Treat Yo Elf. And then the last polish on my part one video for my spring rack is from Nail Hoot. This one is called Be Mine. And this is more of a purple tone. This is getting into our purpley shades. And this one has another fun mix of glitters. You have these white square glitters and holographic glitters that might be in gold. The tone of this one is a bit creamier than the other ones that we've looked at before. You can see that holographic glitter in there sparkling nicely. There's also a bit of flakies that you can see popping up in a like an indigo or a purple there every once in a while. Here's that one in two coats. This one did have a creamier formula so you do get nice opacity in two coats. Again I thought this was so cute and fun for spring. So that last polish in part one was from Nail Hoot, Be Mine. All right, so there we have it. That was part one of my spring 2023 nail polish rack. Again, make sure to check out the list down below for all of the other participants and their channels. And if you're coming from one of those channels, hi and welcome. My name is Caroline and I love to talk about nail polish. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos and my part two of my spring rack. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you guys had a good time looking at beautiful spring polish and I will see you in that next one.